Welcome everyone to my class again. Here we have an exponential challenge. The question is 7 to the power of 2x minus 1 equal to 5 to the power of 2x plus 1. Well, there will be the possible value of x. So we have a solution. Let's take a solution here. We bring down the question which is 7 to the power of 2x minus 1 equal to 5 to the power of 2x plus 1. Now, we can rewrite this expression here. According to the law of indices, we see that if you have, um, let's see, your e to the power of x, there plus y, this is same thing as e to the power of x times a to the power of y okay so if we succumb to this rule here then we can rewrite this expression here and also the one on the right hand side of the equation so we have this to be 7 to the power of 2x times which is dot 7 to the power of minus 1 equal to 5 to the power of 2x times 5 to the power of 1 here we have a negative power, so we can rewrite it according to the law. We see that a to the power of minus y equal to 1 all over a to the power of y. So again, if we take to this rule, then we have this 7 to the power of minus 1 will now become 7 to the power of 2x dot 1 all over 7 is equal to 5 to the power of 2x dot 5 to the power of 1. And 5 to the power of 1 is the same thing as 5. So from here, we can multiply both sides by 7 to eliminate this 7 here. Okay? So if we do that, we're going to have our equation to become 2, 7 to the power of 2x equal to, we have here, 7 times 5 times 5 to the power of 2x. So at this point, let's divide by 5 to the power of 2x. If we divide both sides by 5 to the power of 2x, we also divide this by 5 to the power of 2x. Automatically, the right-hand side, we cancel out. All right. Now, look at this expression we have here now. The powers are the same, the exponents are the same, the bases are different. And so we can equally rewrite this according to the law of indices, which says that if you have your a to the power of x all over b to the power of x, this is the same thing as a all over b r to the power of x. So let's rewrite this because they are having the same exponent. So let's continue from this side. So have here. Yeah. Okay, so. This now implies all right, 7 all over 5 all to the power of 2 to the power of x equal to 7 times 5. Okay, at this point in time, let's take log to base 10 of both sides of the equation. Okay, so if we take log to base 10, this will give us log 7 all over 5 all to the power of 2x base 10 equal to log 7 times 5 base 10. Very easy. Now, according to the law of logarithm, we move this power back here and we also apply the law of logarithm, multiplication law of logarithm to this. So if we do that, the two law, remember, are, we're giving this law in several occasions. The first one, which is the power law, says that if you have log m to the power of x then move this power backward so this will give us here your x okay into log m okay base 10 which is our natural base this is the one we apply here to move this back and on this side the multiplication law says that if you have log m times n okay this is log m plus log n okay so if we pull these two laws into consideration then we can rewrite our equation 
which is what we have here now. Thus implies that this will give us 2x because we're moving the whole of this backward. Okay, bracket, bracket, lug, your 7 all over 5, okay, this 10 equal to your log 7, okay, plus log 5, everything to this 10, this 10. Okay, so let's erase this again. Now, we are looking for x. So to get our x from here, let's divide through by log 7 over 5. Okay, let's put this in brackets. Okay, so if we divide through by log 7 all over 5, this 10, also divide this other side by log 7 all over 5, this 10. All right. On the left-hand side of our equation, you know, this we take care of this. So we're left with 2x. So when I have 2x equal to, here we have our log 7 plus log 5, base 10, base 10, all over log. We apply the division law of logarithm, which says 7 bracket minus log 5. Okay. This is the division law of logarithm. Now, we're looking for x. So what we do? We divide through by 2. So let's say divide through, divide through by 2. Okay. So if we divide through by 2, this will now give us here 2x all over 2 equal to, oh, we have log 7 base 10 plus log 5 base 10 all over our log 7 base 10 minus log 5 base 10. Everything, everything here all over 2. Okay. Now, these two, we go with these two. All right, so therefore, we now have our x equal to our log 7 base 10 minus or plus log 5 base 10 all over log 7 base 10 minus log 5 this 10 bracket divided by 2 okay All right so this is the solution to our exponential equation now i've used calculator to simplify this if you use calculator to simplify this down and put the value of s into our initial equation it's going to give you an approximate value to our solution okay so this is all i have for you and this is all i must tv my name remains jakes anemo if you're new here kindly subscribe because we drop uh, mathematical challenges okay that helps us in our exams and other um, areas of life remember i love you if you found this video very educative drop it in the comment section do not forget to hit the like button comment and share bye